Genesis Part 2 is finally here. So the first thing I want to do is check out all the new items in the DLC. So we're going to check those out today. Little disclaimer, I'm not sure if this is every item. This is just what I can uh, check out with GCM. There's probably items that drop and uh, like I know there's some new seeds. So I haven't gotten those. So those won't be included in this video, but that'll be in the playthrough. Anyway, let's get to it. I apologize for the framiness. I Maybe it's just PS4, but this, so far, this DLC for me is insanely framey. Like, as you can see here, like, the transitions are very slow. I mean, that's normal for console, but it, it seems worse. Anyway, let's check this out. So the first things first, let's do the canoe. We're we'll do with, like, the basic up to the more advanced stuff. So it's kind of like the raft. It, uh... It's like a tame. And then, oh, that's a bit weird. Alright. It's a very, like, chill little faster version of the raft. Ah, so sorry for the framiness. I was gonna do a map tour, but the frames is just too bad. But anyway, this looks, this looks nice. I was afraid you'd have to have two people, but you can do it solo. Seems to be decently faster than the raft, and it looks better. Can't build on it, but pretty cool. Press R1 to beach canoe. Wait, can I just do that randomly? Let's see. You can, like, get it onto the shore. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, now I'm stuck. Alright, so the R1 beach thing's a bit weird, but oh well. Can we, like, pick it up? Oh yeah, you can. You can just pick it right back up and place it. That's nice. I like that. Alright, the next thing. This is pretty cool. I didn't know it was coming, but a tech canteen. Oh, it's three times the water of a standard canteen. I'm just gonna quickly fill it up here. What is that, like... Can use it nine times. Is the original one's three? Yeah, nine hundred water. So let's use that. But oh, we can't. Okay, so yeah, you can use that nine times. That's that's a nice upgrade. I wanted to point this out real quick. Where we drink that water, we have a stamina drain reduction, which is really cool, and an iced water buff. It keeps you cool. That's that's nice. We got the resources we need to craft this. Let's quickly do that. Like, as you can see, it's very, very choppy. Hopefully in a few bug fixes, that'll be taken care of, because this is a bit annoying. Alright, so one element, not bad. You can place these anywhere in the map, and then you can surveillance those areas, which is pretty cool. Let's just go randomly place this somewhere. Alright, let's just set it, like, right here. Why not? When oh, you can name them. Alright, there's something coming to me. Oh, it just sounds like it. Alright. Oof. Oh, and it has the cords and everything. That's nice. Alright, so you could place those wherever and name them, and spy on other people's bases. That's cool. Oh, by the way, in this map, as soon as you spawn in, you have a full tech suit. What it looks like. And it works. Like, it's infinite fuel. It's amazing. This is painful. Alright. So we'll be able to access the remote camera from this. What just happened? Alright, so it's got a bit of load time. And then you can cycle through the cameras as you can see up there in the top left. This is cool. 
I like this. Hmm. All right. And then exit. Not the smoothest transition, but that's that's a nice addition. I can see that being insanely useful for PvP. Alright, now, speaking of PvP, the ammo box. Basically, a feeding trough for turrets. So I've gone ahead and placed a turret over here. As you can see, no bullets in there. Uh, auto reload attempt it. It must try every minute. We'll see about that. So we're going to go ahead and put some ammo in here. Again, sorry for like the slow transitions, it's just, it's just arc. Alright. Ooh, and it says how much is available. That's cool. So, let's see if it shows like a radius. Yeah. Okay, so this is the radius of it. About the same as a feeding trough. This is going to be amazing for like, hiding behind uh, turret walls gonna be a big changer to PvP. Like, ammo soaking is gonna take so much longer. Hopefully that'll buy you enough time to get online, because, you know, everyone tries to offline. We might actually uh, do a PvP ser series just to try some of this stuff out. I apologize if you hear background noise. The, uh, the neighbor always decides to cut grass when I'm recording. It's like he knows. But anyway, the ammo box. So cool. Like, Let's see if it's fed uh, our turret. It's going to be insane. Yeah, it's already gave the ammo to our turret here. So you could go ahead and have everything preset like you can for all the turrets, and then instead of going and filling them individually, you could just put all the ammo in there. That That's nice. Alright, and it does that what seems to be every minute. So, insane addition to PvP. Uh, by the way, like... You don't need any special engrams, you just need the map. Uh, it's not like a tech one, so you just get it early on, just hide it, make sure it's protected, and it'd fill up your turrets for you. Very nice. Alright, so for this, you need a tech gen. Um, maybe a gasoline one, I'm not sure. I haven't tested that. But this is the egg incubator. So basically, you put eggs in here, and it perfectly incubates them, and then you're able to hatch the egg inside, You'll be able to check all its stats, which is really cool. So that's a nice little addition. Um, we'll test that out in the playthrough, but I'm not going to spawn in an egg because that's really it's it's really buggy when you spawn in eggs. All right, so let's move on to this. This is the loadout mannequin. So basically, you can customize this to have the loadout you want. So let's just uh, clearly say just a quick set of flak. So if you're getting raided, you can just walk over here and you'll be kitted out. Oh, it doesn't automatically put it on. Okay, so you have to I mean, put it on. You can put offhand so it could have a shield and then look at all these slots! 300! Jeez, that's insane! Wait a second, can I? Oh... Alright. People are going to use these for storage. 300 slots, and how cheap is this? Okay, loadout mannequin. Search that really quick, let's see how cheap that is. That's m is that more than a vault, or is it the same? Okay, I don't know what's going on, let me search, there we go. Yeah, look how cheap that is. 500 fiber, 10 hide, 500 thatch, 200 wood for a 300 slot storage device. That's insane. Basically, you just walk over here and click uh, swap all. Then it swaps. That is so cool. Alright. But yeah, I can see people using this for storage. That's insane. 300 slots. Wait. Taxidermy. Oh, the taxidermy! It's two different... Two different inventories. So you got the loadout mannequin thing here, and then the mannequin itself has three. Oh, it's counting as a person. That's what's going on. It's counting as a person. That's amazing. That's probably going to get fixed. 
the field dummy. So can I can just Wow. That's gonna be amazing for crafting areas. Anyway. Uh you see the stuff up top of what's loaded in there. Even though I just pulled all that stuff out and I'm not sure why it's still there. Um anyway, on to the next thing. Uh tech crop plot. Uh not nothing too exciting here. Okay, so these can hold more water, I think. No, that seems about the same. But they can hold a lot more fertilizer. Other than that, um, ah, uh, these aren't much of an upgrade. Unless I'm missing something here, these do not seem like much of an upgrade. Maybe it's bugged out. I thought it was supposed to automatically water it. But anyway, let's move on. Let's not spend too much time on that. Okay, so this, uh, the reason I have a ballista here. We have a new item. Jar of Pitch. So, it lights targets on fire. I see a trike over there, we'll test it out on. So basically, you can put this in a catapult or a ballista. We're gonna try it with the ballista, if it will go over there. Hello? Okay. Um, another bug. That will not load into the ballista. Can I put it in my inventory? No. Oh. Okay. Well, it says right here for ballista turret. Um, that does not work. There's actually quite a few things that don't work. Uh, I'll show you another one here in a sec. Okay, so let's try a catapult. Okay. Let's go ahead and, yep. Okay, so you can craft this inside here. I don't know why the description says ballista if it doesn't work. That's a common occurrence in arc. All right, all right. Let's aim for something nearby if we can. Just kind of see the effect first. Let's just hit a rock, see what it does. Oh wow, that's crazy. And it leaves a burning effect. Nice. Oh yeah. These don't go too far. Ooh, this might be interesting for raiding. Alright, so the fire doesn't do a ton. But that is a turtle. This is cool. I like this. Ooh, 750. Please tell me I can burn the water. Oh, I can't. Sweet. Nice. Actually works. Alright, this is fun. I like this. I think the turtle died. Would be even cooler if, like, it could catch the forest on fire. You have to watch out for that kind of stuff. That looks crazy. Alright. On to the next thing. Uh, ooh! This. Okay, so this is an attachment for har harpoons. What it is, it's basically a better bola. It's a net projectile. You put this inside the harpoon, and then you can trap bigger creatures. I've already tested this, and it does work on an RG. So that's amazing. You can now bola RGs. So, let's see, turtle. Let's see if it works on him. See? It just, like, nets them to the ground. You can then shrink them. Pretty nice. What about shrikes? Pretty sure this works on all like a medium sized creatures. Okay, so it has a green like little um, symbol, meaning that we. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so broken in PvP. Um, it has a green symbol if you can trap them, and if you can't, it's red. Because, as you can see over here, hold on, let me put it away. Ooh, does it work on rhinos? That's a real question. It does? Jeez! Alright, so there's one of the new creatures over here. I know it doesn't work on them. Look at that thing. Crazy. Alright, so Brontos, there's no way it's gonna work on them. Ooh, and all this. So it's probably gonna be red, right? Yeah, as you can see, red 
If I try it, it just does damage, does nothing to it. This is a perfect time to try out something else. Which is the Tech Phase Pistol. It shoots plasma beams with verifying intensity and effect at a cause at the cost of element. So it's got three different modes. You got kill, stun, and heal. You can heal your creatures. Yo, that sounds crazy. Um instead of the kill here. We'll try it out. So one element. Okay, so a hundred shots per element. Oh, it's like a And the longer you charge... Holy! This thing's insane! You see, there's like a skull, and like the longer you hold the, uh, the beam on it, the more damage it does. That's crazy. Ooh. Okay, let's try out the stun. Oh, oh. Okay, so this does zero damage. Oh, lag. And then, oh wait, ran out of ammo. Good thing I'm in GCM right now, or I'd be getting messed up by this right now. Uh, let me quickly give myself some more element. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, it's a bit framey. Okay, so it's stunned. So it takes a while to stun, and then you could knock it out. What about healing? Okay, so you could use this to heal wilds. So like, if you're trying to tame it and it's almost dead, you could just heal it. Alright, so this gun is absolutely amazing. Um, I think... Yeah, I don't think you need to do any boss fights for this. It's, uh, it's at the bottom here, which is a bit weird. Um... Maybe it's just misplaced, but I'm pretty sure you get this naturally through leveling. I could be wrong. But yeah. Pretty nice. Little addition. I love it. Okay, now the bow. This is something that's very bugged. Of course, because, you know, every bow and arc is bugged. Um, so, as you can see here, uh, when in flute infused with an element shard it will 3d print high velocity explosive arrows at the cost of element shards can it right there can also fire other arrow types all right right in the description fire arrow doesn't work trank arrow which I was really excited for doesn't work metal arrow doesn't work that's every arrow in the game None of them work. Well, that's bugged. Uh, I'm not going to say they didn't test it, but clearly... <laughs> somebody didn't do something. Anyway. Uh, so if you give this shards, it will 3D print arrows, which is really cool. And I've actually not tried this out yet. So let's see what it does to this big boy. Oh, it looks amazing. 294. Oh, you're fast! Maybe this is a good thing I did this before attempting to kill you in my playthrough. Well, actually, with a tech suit, killing stuff's gonna be so easy. Alright, so you have to charge it. You can't spam it. A bit unfortunate. Alright, so basically 294 damage base. Pretty decent. For a primitive weapon, well, not it's not exactly primitive, but, uh, yeah, primitive, the base engram. So if you could get an imprint of this, uh, well, blueprint, sorry, I'm, I just, like, got up. Uh, this is probably really good. And especially once they fix it to shoot tranks, this would probably be your go-to taming weapon. Oh, anyway, try out this pistol again. this quickly. Look at that damage! Well, these guys are absolute tanks. Whoa. That's such a cool death animation. They don't 
They're not harvestable. That's hmm. weird. All right. So the next thing. Exo mech. Mhm. <laughs> it's little. Okay. So primitives are level one. Oh wow. Oh, you're fast. Jeez. <laughs> this would be terrifying to be chased by. It looks funny though. Oh, cool. Oh, he's got the like superhero landing. That's amazing. Wait, how did he Wait, can I charge that? Let's see. All the punches. Alright. Two two six. Not bad. Oh, and it can harvest meat. Combat mode. Carry mode. Wait, can I... Hold on. Oh, first person. Look at this. Oh, it looks awesome. Alright, we need to give him some element. So again, uh, just like... Wait, what? All the engrams are on this. Can you craft on this? Hold on. Let's see. Metal. There's something that just costs metal, right? You can use these to craft! And they have 20,000 weight. That's pretty good. Oh, that's so cool. So you can use these to craft. Then we'll put element on here. Not entirely sure. What? Okay, combat mode straightforward. But carry. Um. I'm not quite sure what carry mode does. Uh, I... Okay, that's a cool little dismount. Okay, so I'm not sure what carry does. But, anyway. Storage mode. Alright, I'm getting distracted. Anyway. Let's see what else he can do. Okay, so he can jump. There's like a beam. Let me see if I can charge. Oh, so it's like... You can choose where you go. Alright. How far can you jump? Holy! That's insane. Oh. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> and you can walk on the bottom of the ocean. And he's fast. Alright, so this guy's pretty cool. So, instead of having to click buttons, like click the button to bring out the uh, foundation, it stays out. Simple change, but very nice. I'm going to show that off. Alright. So the next thing we're going to show off is... This. It is a tech hover sail. And for some reason, which I am not a fan of, it self-destructs in an hour. So you can only use it for an hour. Oh, and there's no way to stop. Um. Oh. Yo, stop. Stop! Okay, there we go. So there's a way to stop. Dude, stop! Looking at anything. Stop! Okay, so apparently it just goes forward when you're on it. You can't. That's very annoying. Alright. Oversell. So let's see if it's worth it. I don't like items that decompose after a short time. Um, it's very cheap actually. 450 metal, 100 polymer, 20 elements? Ah. Uh, I don't know how... Elements probably easy to get on here though. Alright, so all that for an hour of this. Let's see if it's worth it. Learn the controls. Perform mid-air tricks. Three hundred twenty points. What was that? 
Ooh, first person's weird. I like it. You can just scale anything. That's interesting. Ooh. Okay, so this is more something to play around on, if anything. But I don't see it being too useful as of right now. Just because of how you have to stop it. You have to dismount or hold back. Okay, so it does fly if you hold the jump button. Not very fast. Ooh, look at that element drain. Did not put any on it. Ooh, I didn't. Okay. So it does fly. That's pretty cool. But it's not very fast, honestly. Oh. Okay, so the more tricks you do, you get more of a boost. Okay, so that's that's kind of cool. All right, tech cover cell, cool, but honestly, for what it is, it should not disappear in an hour. Like, it's eh. It's cool though. All right, so what else is there to show? I would like to show this with a incubated egg, but I uh, can't exactly do that. Um, there are new saddles, which I mean, it's a saddle. All right, so this is some other items. Uh, these creatures actually tame up with items already on them, so they have like two different attachments, and they're. There's actually multiple different ways these guys can be built. So, this uh, suppresses enemies with a sonic attack, which is like this. Hold on. Oh, it's the wrong one. Maybe it has to recharge. I did it earlier. But anyway, there's quite a few items here that I won't be able to show off. Um, because I don't want to spoil too much for myself. I just wanted to uh, check out some things. But honestly, the only... Other items to show off are the saddles, which I mean, they're saddles. They give, uh, like, these give special abilities. But other than that, there's not too much else to show. I might have missed something. I apologize if I did. Um, but other than that, that's all the new, uh, items here in Genesis Part 2. I hope you guys are excited to see how these, like, uh, affect the game. I know I am. And, uh, hope to see you guys in the playthrough. I hope you found this useful or entertaining, and hope to see you in the next one. I'm going to do quite a few different videos like this over the next week, uh, just trying to show off as much Genesis content as possible. So, if you're into that, make sure to subscribe, and hope to see you in other videos. Bye!